Nikon's new D3200 sits in the beginner end of the company's SLR lineup, but for the moment at least, it is more expensive than the D5100, one of Nikon's more advanced models. The D5100 is aimed at novice photographers looking to be a bit more creative with their photography. Meanwhile, the D3200 is aimed directly at beginner users. However, if you're stuck choosing between the two, here are some of the key differences to help you decide. The D3200's headline feature is its 24 million pixel sensor. While this means that you can crop into shots and still retain a high resolution image, it also increases the risk of noise being visible at high sensitivities. We found that the D5100 16.2 million pixel sensor delivers very well, being on a par or beating the D3200 in low light situations. So if you're looking for a family and portrait DSLR, it's a great option. In terms of ergonomics, the D5100 is larger and heavier than the D3200, but it comes with the advantage of an articulating rear LCD screen. This is extremely handy for shooting subjects from an odd angle, and it's especially useful when shooting video. It also means that the screen can be protected when not in use. One of the other headline features of the D3200 is its guide mode, which is designed to help walk a user through the process of taking an image. This was a very popular feature on the D3100 and has seen some improvements for the new model. If you're a complete beginner and are looking to learn more about photography, the D3200 offers more in terms of development than the D5100. One of the interesting features of the D5100 is its effects mode, which can be accessed via the mode dial. This allows for some added creativity when shooting with the camera and is a fun aspect of the D5100 that isn't found on the D3200. Choosing between these two cameras is a close run thing. However, if you feel you need the extra pixels and will stand to benefit from the user friendly guide mode, then the D3200 is a great option. On the other hand, if you're a little bit more advanced and the idea of an articulating screen appeals, go for the D5100. Look out for my full review of the Nikon D3200 online at techradar.com.